All right, guys, here we have another proof question. Uh, this is taken from GCSE uh, past paper. Um, we need to prove algebraically that difference between two squares of any two consecutive integers equal to sum of these two integers. So first thing we need to do is read the question thoroughly and try to understand, highlight the key information. For example, difference. What difference means? Difference means um, subtract. Okay, the next information is squares. So I'm going to square um, the numbers, whatever my number is, uh, for example, if it is 5, uh, we're going to square it. <clears throat> uh, 2 consecutive, now what consecutive means is um, next to, to each other. each other. For example, 4 and 5, they are consecutive. 9 and 10, they are consecutive integers because they are next to each other. Whereas 13 and 17, they are not, they are not consecutive because they are not next to each other. That's what it means. Mm. Then another thing we need to look at is, is equal to equal to sum sum is sum you know it is addition um, of of these two integers so this question has two parts so let's start with because it they said two integers so we need to we need to select our our two integers because we're going to use algebra into it so my proof Proof starts by selecting two integers. So I can select, you can use any letter for that. I'm going to use n as my first integer and, and I'm going to use the next, which is n plus one, the next integer. So I can say let my two integers be n and n plus one. So I have made my selection that my two integers are n and n plus one. So what I'm going to do is, the first thing I'm going to do is difference between the squares. The squares is important so that I'm going to address the square issue. So I'm going to square them and I'm going to do the difference. So if I square my first, um, I'm going to square my first, which will be n squared. Whereas I'm going to square my second, which will be n plus one squared. Now, before I do anything else, I need to do a bit more calculation here. You know that n plus one squared means n plus one multiplied by n plus one. So we can set spend some time multiplying them. There are many different ways, whatever method you like. Um, student use FOIL method or a grid method, whatever is comfortable. But when you simplify that, you will end up with n squared plus 2n plus 1. Now, because I had two, two integers and I have squared them, this is my first square, this is my second square. And it was, the question said, difference. Here. so I'm going to I'm going to do the difference so my difference now my difference will be equal to the bigger one bigger one which is clearly that one n plus one is bigger so n squared plus 2n plus 1 that dif difference is subtraction so I'm going to subtract that smaller one 
So let's subtract them. So you can see n squared, take away n squared, they cancel each other. And I'm left with 2n plus, plus 1. So that's my first piece of information. So that's my half the question is done. Now you can you can look back and you can you can call that as one if you want to and look back and say equal to the sum of these two integers. Now sum, I'm going to look at the sum. So let me use a different color color pen here, sum to work out a sum. You know sum sum means add add. So I'm going to add my two integers. As you can see my two integers as you know I it was n and n plus one. So I'm going to add these two integers. Um, so n plus n plus one. And you know, you have done collecting like terms. You can add n and n which will give you two n plus plus one. So that is my sum done. So let's call it as equation two. And we have to prove that, that the sum is equal. So equal. So you can see clearly from one and two. So you can say now or conclude now from from equation one and and two. We can say two n plus one is equal to two n plus one and hence proved and that finishes our proof so if you followed it please don't forget to hit the subscribe button thank you